On this day in history, April 28, 2001 American businessman Denis Tito became the world's first space tourist when he was launched into space aboard a Russian Soyuz spacecraft. Tito had paid around $20 million to travel to the International Space Station, ISS, as a guest of the Russian Federal Space Agency. Space tourism is a growing industry that allows private citizens to travel to space for recreational purposes. Since Tito's groundbreaking trip to the ISS, several other private citizens have followed in his footsteps, including Anousha Ansari, who became the first female space tourist in 2006, and Guy Laliberte, the founder of Cirque du Soleil, who traveled to space in 2009. While space tourism is still prohibitively expensive for most people, several private companies are working to make it more accessible. For example, Virgin Galactic, founded by Richard Branson, plans to offer suborbital flights to paying customers in the near future. Blue Origin, founded by Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, is also developing a suborbital space tourism program, and SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk, plans to send private citizens on a trip around the moon in the coming years. However, space tourism is not without its risks and challenges. In addition to the high cost, potential health risks and the need for specialized training, there are also concerns about the environmental impact of space tourism and the potential for accidents and space debris.